This is the DRP Report podcast where we discuss the latest happenings at Disneyland Paris. On this episode, we discuss the Halloween season, Halloween parties, animation celebration, Christmas, the upcoming Frozen celebration. Disney's Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel, and of course, the Walt Disney Studios expansion. Hello everyone, welcome to the show. Of course, Ellie is laughing already. I am here as usual with Jeff from The Epitome Square. Hello. And Elliot from Elliot. Hello. And today we have a very special guest. It is Mr. David at Disney from David at Disney, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, we already went over this, that uh, your last name in my phone is at Disney. At Disney. On my yeah. Yeah. So when you text me, it says David at Disney. <laughs> Not that I have that many Davids, but anyways. <laughs> we are back for a new episode, and it's actually uh, our first episode as the new name, TLP Report Podcasts. Um, Woo! Nothing's changing. We're still around the same table talking about the same nonsense. Well, new nonsense, I guess. <laughs> With a new microphone. <laughs> we have yeah. a new microphone, so... Um, Celebrate Celebrate, yeah. Frozen celebrate. Oh, Anima- celebration is like the word animation right now. celebration. Fro- everything's a celebration. Every day is, is a celebration. celebration. Oh, oh, they oh, did it. Wow. They, we could pretend that they uh, they every, worked on that. Every day is a celebration. <laughs> you only use the song. Is it a series? Actually, it's like they just keep their own thing. Uh, so today we're going to start by um, looking back at Halloween, which ends well today because we're recording on Sunday. Um, By the time you're listening to this, it's over. It's over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do not ask me what time the parade is. Um, Ray <laughs> Carey is already singing. It's crazy. Well, you know, there's some tea with Mariah Carey and Disney. They don't want her anymore. She's too like. Oh, is that? I, I think so. Yeah. Saucy. She is. Chris definitely want her for nine million pounds. <laughs> Who does? Walker's crisps. Have you not seen that? No. Oh, in the break. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So we're not getting Mary Carey. Don't get excited. Um, but yeah, Halloween. Um, so we talked about about the Halloween season as a whole. I think on the last episode. Yeah. Um, and they've. I think like they've they've reached their like speeding cruise and everything yeah, is quite it's, it's solid. Quite good. And uh, this year, but too short. Too short. Yeah, this year was well, better because it was in September a little bit. But by just two days. Yeah, okay, but by three days, like, but fine. <laughs> but the very first week of Halloween is always very dead. I don't know if the yeah. European market is ready to do Halloween in September. I don't we think, we yeah. obviously are. I don't think they care enough. They don't really I need to run Disney at the end of yeah, September anyway, busy. right? So it's already going to be packed the last week in September. Because so if we, we then saw Halloween at Run Disney, we wouldn't make an extra trip to go and see Halloween. And it's a bit weird because that Run Disney weekend, like the Friday and Saturday, it was like 23 degrees during the yeah. day. It's not Halloween yeah. in the slightest. So. The all garlands that, were there. The, all the decorations are on. The decorations yeah, are yeah. on, yeah. So you get to see a little bit. But I think they, they definitely... Jeez, you, yeah. But they extended the Jungle Book... Fest- what was Festival it called again? Festival King. of the Lion King yeah. and, and the Jungle, Jungle Book. Yes. Oh no, no, Jungle, 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 Jungle Book. Lion King and Jungle Book Festival. Mm. No, it's Festival of. No, no they, they, they changed Festival. it to English. Um, yeah. Huh. Eventually, they decided that it didn't work as a translation, so made it right. We just call it Jungle Book Jive Season. <laughs> <laughs> Shade. <laughs> anyway, that thing that happened in summer. <laughs> well, the show, the show is coming back, the Lion King show, because they've done auditions already for it. Wow. What is beeping? Sorry, Elliot. Elliot, Elliot, turn off your Apple Watch. Um, so um, yeah they definitely I feel like extended the summer season so that people on the run would see it but um, otherwise Halloween was pretty good and it's the first year that we're having two Halloween parties hard tickets events and yeah, um, great. Should we, are we going to talk about in the day first or in the day well, we talked yeah. about the day well we talked about Halloween last time no, it's all, it's all the same. so the only thing I want to know is like did you guys see the Are You Brave Enough before they changed it and after they changed it? Because you know they. Oh did, no, I oh. didn't go and watch the new version. Oh, I did. did. Was it better or worse after the oh. change? It's the same thing, but uh, they just cut half of it out. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was that weird hoogie bo- boogie boogie song, and yeah. that made kind of no sense. I think they've sort of like tried to remove they what, did, what made the least sense, yeah, and kept what kind made of sort made. of kind of sense. It but, was too rushed. Yeah. They tried to do too many villains. So it was like 10 seconds of Facilier, 10 seconds of Cruella, 10 seconds of the Queen, 10 seconds of the Sisters, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't go bother going back and watching it. Ursula but, is incredibly talented. Yes. Mm-hmm. But it's closing today, and it'll be interesting to see what comes next year. 
because Not I bad. mean, <laughs> I, I well, you, you never know. It's Disneyland Paris. You, they might just try to just serve it back. Well, no, same. because they changed it. They changed it to a different show once. This, so this is one of the I after mean, the twenty fifth anniversary, they brought back a different version of Good to Be Bad. If you remember, yeah, Rick and nobody Donald. liked it. No, I've not the Donald one. No, there was, there, but there was another one without the Donald. And oh, Donald. there were two versions. Yeah, and everyone same basically seasons. went no. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, you know, we've talked about this too. There was a lack of story. It was just like, um, and, and of course, no, you know, the performers were all great. And it was really fun at amazing. Night. And it was fun at night, all glowy. These shows just don't have to be, they shouldn't be a highlight reel. That's the problem. We don't need for them to be a highlight reel. Yeah. That pick some good villains mm-hmm. and make a good story with them. We don't need to have like... Even if it was just like an Ursula show... Oh, no. But the thing is, I think also we cannot forget that we're not necessarily the target mm. demographic, yeah. and that people who come for one day and want to see Halloween, they might be a huge fan of one of the villains, mm-hmm. and they want to see their favorite villain on stage. And I think maybe the creatives try to like so, pack as many yeah. as they could. So I'm going to be a little bit controversial and Ooh. say, I know, and say I think they should cut the meet and greet and just make the show longer. Or the scrum meets at the end. Yeah, yeah. I never just attempt cut those anyway. Yeah, so I just don't short. like. The it kind of cut them and extend the show by ten minutes. Well, the thing is, the three characters we're meeting could be anywhere. Yeah. On full sets. Yeah. All day. So I'm not saying I'm not saying like remove the characters from the park, put them somewhere else that makes sense. Uh, sure. Yeah. But make the show ten minutes longer by not having the pressure of having them meet there. Yeah. Then. I feel like they could do like for example they could take over Adventure Isle and turn it into like Villains Island and have sure. like five meet and greets in there all day sure but like Ratcliffe for instance maybe not so much with the Coco decorations but we have the well it used to be called the Pocahontas Playground oh yeah now yeah. it's called the Frontierland Playground yeah because during the run the Pocahontas people were up at Cowboy Cooker yeah. right and he was fed up yeah. like Ramirez yeah. would meet something we have to be honest that this there. year in general for Villains meet and greets has been really bad this year you couldn't meet Facilier, the Cilier, this yeah. year you couldn't yeah. meet the sisters, this year you couldn't meet the, the Queen. Ha- the old yeah. hag the old hag thing. The, 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 the only ocean. characters you could meet were Maleficent of villains wise. No. And and no. Jafar. Well, Jafar. Jafar. And Jafar. And Jafar. And, uh, but he's out every Perkins day. Me. Is Cheshire a villain? Cheshire. He's counted. He's so. naughty. <laughs> yeah, he's I mean counted like I mean like face character villain. Like Gaston. None of them. Was it the twenty fifth? Was it twenty sixteen? Or twenty seventeen? It was twenty sixteen. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was one year where they were just on it and the old hag was there every day and she was just I remember one year where she stole someone's boogie and she was like driving it around in town. It was hilarious. She's I was there for the guest star when she did guest star a couple weeks ago and I mean she is just hilarious. Like you just like yeah. see her like, and and I think it's so funny that I don't know if it's just Paris, but they managed to make this character funny. <laughs> no, the old, the old hag is only really the only resort that has. Oh, is she? Every other resort has fur old hag. Oh, really? Yeah. Basically, bring her back next year because she was great. Yes, please. I think Abe, more honestly, the show, the best thing that ever happened to Halloween villains wise is when they cut the show because the princess waltz was still going. All the villains just had sets around the park. Oh, the tra- mm. oh, the no, going, yeah. old hag on Good to Be Bad was the most hilarious <laughs> thing I've ever watched. Like she was going for it with Gaston. <laughs> and I don't, I don't get it. Like, why don't they have her? Because it's a really simple. She's. I, I don't want to break the magic, but no, is it hard? Oh, oh, she's hard to. She's she's um she's difficult to book. Yeah, <laughs> her schedule is packed. Yeah. <laughs> her schedule is very busy. Yeah, it takes a long time for her to get to the park. Yeah, I think I long I think commute from those German forests. <laughs> Yeah, I think Thanks, Jeff. Sh- for the shoulder, like... taking it one step further. <laughs> That's where she lives. That's yes, she does. Yeah, she commutes every morning. Yeah, I think for the shoulder. On the TGV. <laughs> <laughs> On the frozen TGV. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. Uh, sitting there at the table. Like, eh. Can you imagine you seeing her across from her? <laughs> She's just like going on holiday. You know, like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Anyway, she offers you apples. <laughs> <laughs> Little TGV apple like, pie. I know it's different in Disneyland Paris, but the way Disneyland do villains with them scrolling, just go walking around and interacting, I know we've, that wouldn't, wouldn't work, right? Wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah it would. But at least I have them as an opportunity. Whereas if I want to get a picture with the Queen or Gaston this Halloween, it's impossible. Yeah. Well, so and also, why don't they bring the old hag and all that to the party? Uh, there was so there was marketing material was on like, the was program. She's on the floor. Yeah, but no, there was on the she, program. There, yeah, she was supposed to be in. Was it the pavilion or? Well, meet the program Mickey or said something? the program said, "Oh, you can meet 
the the evil no, queen it was a and bad. the pavilion, or will you be so unlucky and get the evil witch? And people are like, oh, are they gonna like do yeah. switch back? Yeah, and then so like, funny. I think like entertainment think... was like, who? Yeah. That'd <laughs> be cool. Someone like, got too nine, excited at marketing. You know, yeah. I mean, when in doubts, it's marketing's fault. Usually, that's probably right. Yeah. Um, but the night, I had a blast at the Halloween party. The I Halloween the party was one. great. Um, like, okay. I, like I wasn't there, but the feedback made me want to have been there. Yeah, very I mean? good. And I wasn't good. that bothered yeah. about going before, yeah. but then when I saw like how much fun everyone was having yeah. and the, the good feedback on like, like maybe good. wish I went. It was a really good, good night. It was really well organized. Uh-huh. Um, Our one it was anyway. <laughs> yeah, so we were there on the Saturday night, the first one. It was really well organized. It didn't feel um, very busy. Didn't feel too busy. We I got queued, a lot what, done. Twenty five minutes for most stuff that we were queued for. Yeah, Pirate Academy. I just walked into both yes. times. We were queued for Maleficent twenty five minutes in the day. That queues a good hour. Mm. Mm, yeah. yeah. Well, Oogie Boogie was a bit crazy, but that's what happens when you bring a brand new character that's never been to the park. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't see how. They could have managed yeah. any differently. Well, they I did. think you could meet him during the day, right? That would have been the ultimate solution. Because I think in Disney World, you can do that with some characters. So right? they start some so, characters two so. or three hours before the party. Uh, yes, yes. 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 To be fair, yes, the the park closed at seven. Uh, yeah. And the meet and greets didn't. He was meant to start at nine thirty, but because of demand, they had to basically get him to come out at nine so like I they was were walking, surprised that the yeah. demand was like that yeah. i was walking around the frontierland area at about six forty-five, and now we're already we're checking for wristbands and i checking say people out without them. the second oh. the second the first illuminations fireworks goes off she can have these meet and greet starting you know i wish illuminations from yeah. boot hill by the way oh. that yeah, was it, really was fun it any better yeah it was really good actually. i watched yeah, guys, it yeah. from uh, cafe de la Bus, which is also very fun because yeah. you get to the back of the castle and you get to see how actually off center the fireworks are mm. only because you're standing it well not off center but like how from far you are how far it. behind the castle because yeah. you yeah. when you watch the illumination you're like look at all those fireworks beautifully <laughs> coming out of the castle yeah no. so i had the molly brown parked up in front of the castle so it looked like the, they were being launched behind the molly brown I did see yeah. really time. really yeah. cool <laughs> we just had the view of a slight colourful spark above a bush, but while we were sitting <laughs> on Phantom Man the stairs. Oh, yeah, there you go. Um, but so, what else we do? Um, the so parade. The parade, parade was good. The parade was yeah. brilliant. I loved it. Yeah. So the story was like the Phantom was inviting you to hit to meet all the villains, and he was kind of at the start of the parade. Like, oh. oh, was that the story? Okay, there was a story. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the Halloween parade, especially on party night, is really the one show that I don't mind that there's no story. It's like, here are some villains on floats. Mm. And I'm like, so I'm here for Mickey, <laughs> and Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> and Mickey and Minnie, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, Maleficent Donald. Well. Maleficent Donald. So Maleficent yeah, Donald right. wasn't on the first parade, I don't uh, think. He was. He was in the house with issues and halfway through came out of the house. Uh, I was over uh, halfway and he uh, wasn't there. He was there by the time we got to Town Square. So yeah, we saw him. Yeah. So I was about halfway down Main Street and didn't have him. Ah. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. All right. If they wanted to split the cures for Boogie Boogie, they should have put him out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he would have been really popular yeah. as well. Maybe you have like more. And the rare problem with characters. the night was that Boogie Boogie was like the only rare really rare character, yeah. so yeah. everyone went there. No Sally this year either. I was Sally not. They were no. Sally not in the program. No, no. but no. not the. the they announced you all tweeted, right? they removed yeah. it. Yeah, you were all tweeting about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she was announced. Yeah. Disappeared. Yeah, weird. Yeah. Um. So the um, Pirate Academy. It was Hooks Pirate Academy. Did you not like Pirate, it? Pirate Academy is the best. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering <laughs> what that was side was about. So was it the same uh, as the many one, just with Captain Hook? Yeah. yeah. But it made more sense because it never really made a ton of sense why Captain Hook was on the stage with Minnie while Minnie was teaching you how to become a pirate. Like, it didn't make too much sense. Whereas Smee teaching you how to be a pirate with Captain Hook stood there. Mm. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 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 And I mean, and you don't get to see Clarice with fruit on her head, <laughs> which was kind of the highlight of Minnie's version of it. I was like, yeah. oh my God, <laughs> there's Clarice with fruit on her head. It was just a pure amazing mess. It was, it was yeah. 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 You know, like, I mean, there's, DLP makes plenty of messes, but this is actually a fun one. <laughs> Yeah. Even the, even Hook's Pirate Academy. I mean, you come out of there and you're like, "What did what I it? just yeah. watch?" It's, it's but like, it was super I think fun. The first <laughs> few bits is like ama- it's just amazing, but fine. Like lesson one to four, yeah. and then lesson five <laughs> happens yeah. with the with the shake shake shake. Yeah, 
Oh my gosh. Were you, were you joining in, Jeff? Of course. Oh, it's yeah. Halloween yeah. night. You gotta yeah. join And I mean, in. there's that, that pun with the shake your booty, you know. Yeah. It's just yeah. like, you just kind of like, well, this is terrible, but I'm agreeing. Yeah. <laughs> the first time I watched it, I just burst out laughing. <laughs> yeah. This was like March or whatever. It took me a second. Thing. I was like, why is this song like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and so, then the little parts of the Caribbean rave afterwards. Like, yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah, <laughs> the, whole, the whole thing is absolutely bonkers, but brilliant. That night, I also watched <laughs> "Are You Brave Enough" with enhancements. Um, oh, see, enhancements? I did not even bother no, doing. Just... So the enhancements were about twelve of the thorns <laughs> being randomly put into the show, like waving oh. their sticks around. The thorn from oh. the parade. Yeah. Oh, okay. But they were also all on parade, yeah. which was kind of cool. I actually, like Maleficent 12, came yeah. with like a dozen of like you know the thorn black outfits. Yeah. It was really funny, yeah. and you still to see like how many of them they have. That's yeah. weird though, because they used to like the last Halloween show. I went to they added like Isma and Hades yeah. and all that into the Good to Be Bad show and stuff like yeah. that. Uh, this year yeah. they were on the parade. Oh, the parade. Yeah. Yeah. Hades wasn't, but oh, like, Isma was. Yeah. Best yeah. yeah. hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, what, what, what from? So that night, uh, what else? What, what, there were scary islands. Oh, so oh, well, not so scary islands. Well, it wasn't that scary, but it was really cool. Honey, last year I was running from someone with a chainsaw holding a decapitated <laughs> head in a cave full of fog. <laughs> this year. <laughs> Can you imagine a Disney like executive it, walking into that though and be like, "What? This is not." Our well, park. I think I think like probably like you know the US and Burbank like look at that and they were like, "Well, we know Hong Kong Disneyland is pretty out there, but no, you're gonna have to calm down." And then like, but they were they were running you, they were running after you with a chainsaw with a decapitated head going. Da, 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 <laughs> you were <da>, joking. <laughs> Uh, it was brilliant oh god that is so off brand uh, but it, it was still fun I liked how they they filled all the caves with the smog and <laughs> you couldn't see where the projections on Skull Rock the projections oh yeah. yes of course yeah. like, that, that was like insane. probably the number one like Oh, like thing that I, this was my no, favorite I, thing. I also really enjoyed the projections onto the castle with the neon lights. Oh, oh yeah, yes. yes. Really, I yes. want that song. Yeah. Yes, oh, there was, was like a special brave enough song for the parade. Oh yeah, the oh, remix. Yeah. And it was a song for the castle as well. Yes. 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 No, yeah. I oh, that like rock and roll type of thing. Yeah. 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 I don't know whether the recording I took on my phone was good enough to ever use, but and, uh, we but do yeah, it. We do it if magic happens. We can make it work. Yeah. Skull Rock had so different. Uh, there was a it versions. came alive. There was a French, there yeah. was an English. And I think there was a few different versions in each yeah. language yeah. too. Yeah, so there was, if you you could easily stay there like 20 minutes and not see the same thing again. And yeah, uh, yeah very, so well done. It looks like it was talking. Yeah. Really kind of made you think, what took so long? Like, yeah. this is such an amazing idea. Like, what? I, but like, and it also shows you this is what projection mapping is about. Yeah. Not mm. illuminations. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, controversial. Yeah. Actually, well, that's, that's not controversial. When you see when you see Once Upon a Time in in the US, I think it works better because they really use like the castle like turns into like. Only because Tokyo Disneyland pay for it. Did they? Yeah. Yeah. So this is Tokyo. Yeah. Oh, really? The Happy Ever Afters. Yeah. But you know when it's ridiculous. But, but, oh no! I mean, Once Upon a Time. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Tokyo show that they put on Cinderella Castle. I thought that was Happily Ever After. Was in Tokyo first. No, that's not that Yeah. Wait, no, so though. I'm talking about Happily Ever After then. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. And they really use, like, the castle structure mm-hmm. to make it, like, almost transparent, to make it shake, to make basically what Dreams was awesome. doing to the castle. Yeah. You know, in the Genie oh, show, it was, like, all the castle tourists were basically, yeah. like, 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 switching over on mm-hmm. themselves. They're, like, twisting, and you're, like, what mm-hmm. the hell is going on with this castle? Is it really moving? But, yeah, and Illumination is basically using it like a movie screen, which... Is also beautiful and mm. and a lot of guests oh, like it because they don't know any better. Because they don't know any better, yeah. If you don't, if you haven't seen the other shows and you don't know what they can do, it is still a good show. But yeah, there's no story. And yeah. anyways, we're we're getting lost into the nation now. <laughs> we're uh, getting lost in the magic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Skull Rock, really, really, really good job. Obviously, that, that has to come great. back. Yeah, yeah, they have to do it again. Yeah. Phantom Manor also had projections. They were yeah. the same as yeah. the projection Which for the real. Why are they yes. hiding all these projectors? <laughs> yeah. Well, they they set up like these special custom mm. places for the soiree. But like the thing is, um, I it really, it, I think it's really amazing that they can do this. Like, ho- like how long is the Phantom Manor mapping? Like a good like ten minutes of yeah. video yeah, yeah, projection, right? Yeah. And then Skull Rock, you probably have like fifteen of minutes of mapping, and then they did probably like. 
something like 10 minutes of mapping on a castle like so why can't we have a new nighttime <laughs> show so, so, <laughs> like because you know we, it's because well the but, excuse but, is to be like oh production mapping is so expensive no, you have rule, to create the it the rule like, is that nighttime spectaculars have to be made by Walt Disney Imagineering and Creative Entertainment okay yeah <laughs> Anyway, there was right. a dance party. Well, and the Nick ones that Disneyland okay. Paris makes <laughs> in house are pretty damn good. So yeah. um, that's a silly rule. <laughs> they should really yeah. let them do it once, see what they can come up with. Dance parties? There oh. were two of them. Well, oh, was so Latino old. Goofy gave me life. Oh, Latino Goofy. Well, it wasn't really Latino. It was at the Latin. The Latino dance party with Skeleton Goofy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry. Yeah, so there were two dance parties. One in Frontierland, yeah. one in Discoveryland. So in Frontierland, it was like the... It was called Dia de Muertos, oh, but was yeah. called something else. I think else. it was called the Dia de los Muertos Festival. Festival. Or something. That was really fun. Goofy was just getting we were, down. We were like, like dancing skeleton. with Goofy. And the music was, was so opera and it was great. It was like yeah. Shakira and all this, like, <laughs> Despacito. Like yeah, like, everything. It, it was, was basically, th- like, Billy Bob's. In, yeah, in, in the Port bar, Taylor. yes. <laughs> it was Billy Bob's. There was no bar there, though, this year. I didn't see one really? anyway. Uh, Usually there's a bar at that dance party. I think they... Was it in Cal- Was it at Cowboy Cup? Cal- Cal- no. I, I feel like there was. I don't know. There was one definitely in Discoverland. Yeah, because they took over that bit near Videopolis. Yes. Yeah, there was one in and so so in Discoveryland first was the whole Red Disney team. <laughs> that, oh, was yeah, that, was Goofy, that was Goofy and Max. Goofy, Goofy and Max. I didn't see. Didn't any even of that. know Max had an outfit. No, no one did. Did they just make it for him? No, I can't imagine. It probably would have been like, oh, I know what happens. Okay, no comment. Oh, okay. Well, team boring. we can't have. <laughs> um, and uh, and then. Um, Mike, uh, I think it was Mike Williams or something. Mike Williams, yeah, he was, he was one of the best teachers I've ever seen. Very good. He was yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was super alive right yeah. the way through. Dutch DJ. Uh, uh, so why the Dutch ones that are good? Yeah, because the guy last year Don Diablo was Dutch as well. Yeah, he was yeah. Good. Well, I mean, they're nice. you know they're like Netherlands known for like no. dance music DJs and all that stuff. And that took us all the way through to two a.m. Yeah, mm-hmm. and um, and he was really good, and also he played because so. At Magical Pride, they had Boy George, and you know, obviously, it's he's like a headliner, and you're like, oh, it's Boy George. But then he came in at like ten thirty and started playing those like super deep house tracks that were kind of like you know like after party five a.m. type of thing. <laughs> and I think the whole crowd was just kind of like, okay, we're gonna go do attractions now because <laughs> the music it was just kind of like very intense. like deep and intense, like clubbing, like hardcore. Um, but Mike Williams like really played some. It was it was it's definitely like, like music festival music, style. Yeah, but it was yeah. there was a lot of vocals and he was like cheering with the crowd and it was like happy music. So I think it really worked well. Yeah, and he said like he came out with some kind of nice things where he was like saying I came here as a kid and now I'm here playing it. This is really cool yeah. and exciting and yeah. Like and you really felt that he actually did like it as well, which was yeah. quite cool. Yeah, yeah so that was that was fun. Everyone. And uh, and for the second party was Offenbach, who I actually really like as well. They're French and they um, they do dance music based on old rock songs, so it's always like it's inspired fun. by old rock cool. songs. And uh, they're doing really well in France as well. And uh, yeah, so good choices. Yeah. It's kind of like always surprising to see those DJs on Halloween parties, but <laughs> Discovery Land, yeah, in Discovery Land, right? It really but works. it works. It works for us because I think because we don't have in Europe the whole. Halloween tradition that the US has mm. for us yeah. Halloween is more that kind of thing yeah yeah. it's so, kind of a club night <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and also you know I'm sure they've done their marketing research for like yeah, and European really, markets and people like that here it know? only really gets going at what half past twelve or something yeah, like that's the time it comes yeah. on yeah so. But, like, it's funny because, you know, Disney World guests were, like, commenting, like, this would never happen at Disney World, <laughs> ever. Like, and you might get, like, a Shakira Try Everything remix, yeah. you know? <laughs> but that's about, like, as far yeah, as like, it's going to go. Like, full DJ rig with, like, then, strobe lights And the strobe lights and, and the smoke <laughs> and the confettis and the go-go girls on, like, yeah. towers. Yeah. With like, they had, like, smoke guns. <laughs> and, like, they would just, like, point the smoke guns at a crowd and just be like, woo! <laughs> no, I, just, I was, I was just, like, what's so, going on? There's just, like, <laughs> one guy dressed as, I don't know, I think it was a monster but it was just like neon lights like yeah oh yeah around. yeah no and it's fun and like it, it's like it's, it's off brand and not off brand at the same time yeah because it's a private <laughs> event basically i mean it's mm. not private but it, it's a special it, event so it's i in think a you far can... enough corner at the park and yeah. it's also at the time in the morning that the kids who've gone to the party are not going to still be there no, yeah and i think if you have kids you don't want to stay to yeah. tell and in that well, corner, there were some kids were having a blast to be honest I mean, yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, but also in that corner like you're only going to go there if you're looking for it yeah. and when you see the crowd 
coming like towards Space Mountain, like you can tell if this is your thing I, I'm or not. not. I'm, because... not against, I'm not against it at all. And, and yeah, the great it's... thing about the one in Frontierland as well is it's fully in theme. So yeah. the the dancers were in theme, and yeah. the zombie... it was a bit more tame in Frontierland. Oh, would you know? Yeah, it was, it was. Well, the music no, was so... giant, like. Skeletons on stilts. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. They had. I know it's like <laughs> rings that you get thrown into to have like dancing and that. Oh really? I yeah. did not see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was really cool. Um, well, in Discoveryland, they had those kind of scary creatures on stilts. Yeah. See, that's yeah. the thing is, they're not. It's not like they're just throwing a few lights and playing some music. It's actually a fully themed yeah. experience. Yeah. And great. when you were in uh, Videopolis watching the show, you could not hear any of it. Yeah. Really? That's cool. Well, because the music is quite loud, and also they have those big doors. Yeah, yeah. and they were just. Whacking out Disney Channel songs when nothing was on. <laughs> oh yeah, they were they were whacking the uh, Descendants songs and talking about. Oh, 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 oh. oh. see, on theme magic. Talking about um, so synergy. Instead of just leaving the stage empty, they called Lucky, who's been oh. doing quite a few parties. I've got, got some stuff to show years. you then from Lucky's um, Instagram. Okay, account. this is not going to work too well for. You know this is I can talk <laughs> audio show. We don't I have. I can talk about it. Okay. okay. So, oh, uh, what, what Instagram are you checking out? Much, <laughs> so usually, uh, usually Lucky does New Year's parties. If you've ever been to one, so it's, he does those. It's kind of like Zumba. <laughs> so <laughs> Lucky, <laughs> so Lucky has uploaded character cards for every character: what? who their parents are, who their cousins are, what their name is for what? all of the characters. <laughs> Really? Yeah, so that's, oh, that's Vic. Cool. Wait, he's cool. made yeah. like descendant characters. So Vic's well, mum sure is Ursula from... and Captain Hook, and Harry is her half brother, and Uma is her half sister. Oh, I'm sure oh, this wow. is all done by uh, Disneyland Paris, but Are uh, so you then sure? that's Al. I don't think so. I think so the Al there. is his parents, Jasmine Aladdin, and he was a hero and turned into a villain. Oh, well, that's fun. Yeah, for all of the characters he has. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, Jack Sparrows and oh, we have a gay couple. Really? Jafar and Jack Sparrow. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? That this is, is definitely it. not made by Disney. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, what, what I mean, there's the... nothing wrong with it, no. but I know. <laughs> what about Lucky? What was Lucky's parents? Lucky was uh, Cruella and Hades. Because I've never seen Descendants in my life, so this is a bit weird. There is oh, a lot David. of. Sort of... You have to watch it. It's so bad, but it's so good. <laughs> yeah. It's there's so, a, there's yeah. a lot of. Yeah. Mm, dodgy yeah. stuff going on. Yeah, around. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> does that does that make uh, Lucky what Mal's half sister? It's <laughs> the best. <laughs> Carlos is half brother. Okay, there is uh, so, a lot going on here. So if you want to see what we're talking about, yeah. you can go on Instagram and look up Lucky Dance Party, all one word. <laughs> Shout and, uh, out to Steph Ross Photo for finding these. Oh, thank you, Steph. <laughs> There's a uh, lot going on here, by the way, that's uh, not Disney at all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, so <laughs> moving on. So Lucky was on stage every day between the parties, but not at the parties, funny enough. Um, teaching people Send the move. Up. Well, and the, he did his research. He knew yeah. everything. Yeah, about the moves. Movie. The moves are the moves from the video. Well, some of the moves from yeah. The they spend you. They spend about six minutes teaching you like three seconds of dance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and but then you know they what? speed it up to insane speeds that no one can keep up with. I kept up with it. But you know, after we went to it like three times in a row, thank you, Steph. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we were all getting very good at it. I was kind of like, bam, 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 bam. I could see like the kids looking at me like, wow, okay, <laughs> you're tense. It was it was that first time. I was like, let's do it really slowly, and then all of a sudden, it's like, and now with the clip, and you're just like. Wait, yeah. what the heck's going on here? But hey, by like the sixth time we watched it, we're pretty good at going with the clip. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. You know, so. I remember, just, I think we all just stood around like, whoa, that was fast. Yeah. Uh, so good job. It's a good idea instead of leaving the stage empty with like a picture and of nice it. to use a very popular property in Europe that's generally underutilized yeah. as far as the parks go. Yeah, that's true. Because, I mean, we went yeah. to, like, all the well, shows like we went to were completely full. Yeah, they were busy. And, and it was hardly heavily advertised. It was... It was, yeah, it was on the program. Okay. Yeah, but, I mean, it, it was, was on the like stage big, as you walked yeah. past Star Tours. Well. But there wasn't... We didn't go to one thing. Oh, this one's quiet. Yeah, and no. It was, yeah. It I expected it to be quiet. Yeah. It's, I was quite pleasantly surprised it wasn't. I think I think uh, Disney in Europe used to think that European guests would not get into dancing and stuff. And then we had Pirates and Princesses. And they probably just, like, oh... Okay. <laughs> Make it easy and, and then, do it. You know, and then basically there's been like all those interactive shows and dance yeah. parties and stuff. 
Yeah. People want to learn it. Yeah. Yes. It's fun. And, and it's cool because they have the same party in the Oogie Boogie Bash, but the Oogie Boogie Bash choreography is new choreography toned down to guess. I think it's in Disney Springs as well, no? Yeah, it was not It was in Disney Springs. Um, okay, it was. Fine. Because it launched in America in June. Whereas we're still like, just getting it in Europe. Yeah. So, yeah, overall, Halloween. I thought they did good. Obviously, you know, uh, characters, character meeting reads, not not optimal. No. The, think... snack, uh, the snacks for oh. the soiree. Were... Oh, mm. yeah. <laughs> so, well, Halloween <laughs> snacks in general, I mean, but so, the snacks for the soiree. First of all, the first snack they revealed was the Maleficent Evil Queen's Mirror. So, from that... <laughs> oh, we're going, we're going all the way oh, back. Yeah, you're taking it back. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So See you in an hour, that, guys. That sets the tone. But I, I bought it, and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, yeah. It was huge, and it was nice. I tried the mixed berry fruit one. But it's all it's all the same design that they've yeah. done Honey, previously. They, they must have got a good deal on those Maleficent thorns. Yeah. Because they were so, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, they're in every cupcake and every... <laughs> every hot says. chocolate, every... Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. They look good, though. Yeah. yeah. And it's um, easy, you know. Sometimes but they they got the wrong property. Yeah, they put it on the wrong mm. cookie though. Yeah. Well, yeah. Even if it was square, it would have been so much better. Yeah, I mean, but for Maleficent, like they could have had the uh, I don't know, like a dragon shape of the cookie or something. Ooh, that'd be fun. Cake well, pops up nice though. Yeah, but like Wait, so the one we've never seen them again. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We weren't there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the whole weekend I couldn't see them. No. Um, okay. Then they had those villain Ben yet. Beignets, but there's reports from our listeners that the cast would often confuse the mixed berry sauce for the pomegranate sauce for falafel, so a lot of people would walk away and start eating <laughs> it. <laughs> Fine, like, I mean, technically, it's still it like still a works. sweet yeah. sauce, but not really what you ordered. Not what you expected. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I had the Phantom Manor cake stick oh, uh, yes. thing. I saw the outrage on, it looked, on your like, Twitter let's, account. Let's, let's it give it nice. credit. It looked really it looked good. Nice. It looked you're great. You're from the outside, but then you bite in it. But so you're... Ex- <laughs> even on the sign, it says Phantom Manor Milk cake or chocolate something like cake. that, right? So I'm like, okay, well, I've got it. I've got it on a stick. I'm just going to bite it. <laughs> and then I found out that it was basically solid chocolate. But so <laughs> solid. The no, there was like a sliver of cake inside. Yeah, so at the very bottom of the manor, there was... the. A really thin line of cake like about that was really dry, coin. but I uh, I washed it down with a glass of champagne. So, uh, <laughs> oh, well, there's nothing for <laughs> <Treat> yourself. <laughs> okay. I, oh, I, I also tried the pumpkin cupcake from the Market House Deli. It oh really, yeah, it was really good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we good. tried the pumpkin mousse as well. Oh, okay. I tried the. Jack's... You were there. Wait. In Hyperion. Oh, that mousse. Yes. Oh yes, yeah. yes. The little the little pumpkin. Yeah, moose. Yeah, we, we, yeah, and then I was trying nice. the Jack Skellington nice. cookie, which looks nice, but it was too much icing. Christmas oh, that has to come soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we you know, find I, I would say week, right? it's a slow, I but oh, we, is <laughs> Santa's sleigh gonna come back? Santa's sleigh. <laughs> oh, <that> holy tree. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I, I would say like it, it's slow <laughs> progress, but you know this year it. We're starting to move slightly more forward. Well, I think they're doing, but I feel like we've kind of like been saying, like, try to do something like more simple that you can success, they can, you know, do well. And I think that's maybe what they're trying to do now and then try to build on that. But those K pops looked great, but then they just disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So maybe there were some um, tests. And we have to be honest that most of the good snacks are made by Latalia. Yeah, that's it, Ghetto, yeah. Mm So we need to scale those up. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Send more. Can we, just, can we just build one, like, in, like, just the patch of land they have, and then have, like, a Latalia bakery in making... the patch of land. <laughs> just have lots of patches of land. You know land. that one patch of land. <laughs> that's a, it's just the right The one that them. doesn't have a link, <laughs> and the one that doesn't have a Star Wars. <laughs> we'll just write to them, Latalia de Ghetto, patch of land in France. <laughs> yeah. It might get there. Um, right, so Halloween, kind of good this year. We'll be I back. Think, I would say that Halloween season didn't really make me want to go. Really? The Halloween soiree, mm. I really regret not going to it. Well, Halloween season didn't have anything much. New. Yeah, new so, I mean, there's nothing yeah. really drew me there. I yeah. think, especially when I heard that the new show wasn't that great, right. I think if people have been raving about the new show, I might have booked and gone over. But yeah. I think once I heard mm. that it's not that great. Mm. But you also had the amazing um, Tara Terra show. 
yeah. Yeah, yeah. just a bellhop just arrives for a minute, <laughs> stands, and then goes back down. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I, was, I was lucky that they'd already started putting the new ones in that run Disney weekend. Oh, so I got, so I, got, I, got, I got to do the little the little girl one. They're all, oh, yeah. they're all yeah. the little they're all, girl. Oh, well, <laughs> middle, <laughs> oh, sorry. Was it, it was middle, middle left, right? Well, I only had middle open when I was there. That's oh, that's a good one. So the queue was like two hours long for Terra Terra that weekend. So, they've given out. And the other two shafts were down because they were doing those. So only the middle one was open. Oh, no. So they gave them all like really obscure names but then we're all just calling it middle left and right uh, yeah so well, good because, job disney <laughs> because the names don't really match the, the story like creatures or something like, my oh, favorite thing about new tower of terror is like the trapped effects like where you get slightly trapped and you like bounce up and down oh, on yeah. the left that's fun mm. yeah it's a lot more intense than the old one you know the that the elevators myself. have like uh vibrating like bouncing effect mm. in mm. them yeah oh, oh. so they can make the the, the actual shaft isn't moving yeah. No. Well, sometimes of course. Well, okay. <laughs> you know what Revelation. I mean, like, you're actually not moving. Just, like when it, when it's shaking. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. When it shakes just a little bit, it's actually like there's a platform underneath it that shakes the, the whatever the box that you're in. What do you call that? No. We'll have yeah. to wait till next September to find out what revelations await us. Next year. Oh, yeah. We get the press release in June, oh. July, um, something like that. But it's always so vague. Yeah, it's enough to go yeah. on. Like, well, I mean, obviously, well, I, I don't want to say obviously because then it's gonna not gonna happen. They're gonna change that show, right? Oh, they have to. Yeah, I think it sounds like they should keep Arsula. Yeah, but retool everything around Arsula. Yeah. yeah, and change that set. Oh, that was a yeah. horrible. Set. I get it. I get that it glows at night, but it's like one show out of your like seven. Yeah, and for some reason, I okay. So yeah, this is another thing I do not understand. They only did the night shows on Saturday nights. That's weird. Yeah, that must be like a scheduling yeah. thing, no? I don't know. I feel like it Elliot will be a scheduling thing. Things. <laughs> but still, weird idea. Yeah. Well, there's more people on Saturday and the park closes later. Sure, but that set only looks good at night. Yeah. It's like it's dark. Yeah. It glows in the dark. Yeah, it's nice glows in the dark effects. And they've kind of backlit it so that it's kind of fun and interesting. Just bring the thorns back, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, but I Even mean, it doesn't make sense with Arsha. Like, the thorns are like, amazing on that stage. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think that's, yeah. But hey, yeah. we'll see. We'll see what happens next year. So, Halloween, 2019, that's a wrap. And, uh, yeah, we're going to take a break. <laughs> that was a bit anticlimactic there. Only like one person clapped. <laughs> Um, but we're going to take a break and uh, when we come back we'll be talking about uh, what's next in November, December and January yeah, with yeah. some Frozen, some Christmas and some Frozen again and some Star Wars and some food and a little bit of Star Wars and a little bit of Star Wars gee it's like a, like a, a tiny bit mix, Star Wars. mix platters <laughs> alright so we'll be right back <laughs> Red. Mm-hmm. Is that normal? 
Yeah. I don't know. Okay, we're back. Maybe, maybe, we're, maybe, we're, maybe back. we're back. Maybe because we're talking about Christmas. Uh, the Christmas. The, the audio <laughs> thing turned red. I don't know. Uh, that was awful. That was really bad. <laughs> yeah. I'll just how your light reacted to that high note. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Mariah Carey commercial. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which so you see that now. Now. So during the break, we watched the Mariah Carey la- what, what, Walkers. Uh, Walkers commercial. Late. Is this Who just in the UK? Yes. Wow. But it's where it started. Yeah, it's a UK company. Right. But I mean, do they sell in the US? Is not like a worldwide commercial? Lays. It's the same Ah, way. okay. So it'll be like rebranded for other markets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nine millions from Mary Carey. But I think the commercial is UK only. Is, is it? Mm. Yeah. You mean like the Christmas one? That... Yeah, because they've launched like Pigs in Blanket Crisps. Pixie what? Pigs in blankets. You're joking. Yeah. I have to bring that to yeah. my mom. Every year I <laughs> harass her uh, to make the pigs in a blanket. Oh, the best thing I'm not yeah, coming for Christmas. Right. She doesn't make them. Uh, <laughs> I love pigs in blankets. <laughs> I don't like them. Turkey and stuff. I don't like bacon. Mm. Like, you know, like sausage with bacon around I don't like bacon. I mean, that, that would be how he doesn't yeah. like Oh my That's god. so sad though. So it's anyways, crazy. about Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, we're all going to start wearing Christmas jumpers next week. Well, let's face it. You have started on Friday. I mean, I'm going to touch You were telling me on Friday oh, that you I were listening. listening to Christmas music. I have a yeah. November 1st playlist with all oh, the Christmas music. Oh. No, I'm, that... I'm ready for it. I'm ready yeah. for it, yeah. So this week in the park is going to be switch over week. So we're going to be here at 6 a.m. every day to show the Christmas tree arriving. <laughs> Even though the park doesn't open till 7. Yeah. Right, no, okay, but that sounded wrong. No, of course, we'll be there when the doors open. Ben's breaking in for the next week. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's always kind of an exciting week because it all hap- it all arrives in like pieces. And then um, you have this uh, those walls uh, in yeah. town square. And then all of a sudden, there it is. I was there for switch over week once. It was a rough week. It's like it's really rough for yeah. the guests, but for us yeah. it's interesting. They used to cancel Ash Magic Hours in Disneyland Park. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I was there once where so the Halloween soiree was obviously the October thirty first because they used I to do it there, only on there. Like Kato, yeah. But they were already getting ready for Christmas, oh, so honey. they put the garlands up already. <laughs> uh, for the Halloween soiree? <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Or the day after? No, right? no, on the day. Like, I've got some weird pictures uh, of like all the ghosts on Main Street, but we've like bunted. Half, half and stuff the like decorations that. for Halloween are gone already. Uh, the season hasn't finished yet. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Actually, I need to tweet it later. Where are they? Which ones? Um, no, the they removed. Street one. Yeah, they removed the garlands, the Halloween garlands on the Main Street. Already? Um, oh, uh, besides, yeah. Well, when on the last day of Jungle Book Drive, there were already three Halloween garlands above yeah. the front. That was weird. That was weird. Yeah. Was but I think, um, I don't know if it's labor laws or cost or anything, but I feel like in the US parks and Tokyo everywhere, they have crews working all night for yeah. every single minute of the night, and yeah. it just yeah. all happens really quick. But in Paris, they need to do it over a week because they can only work, like, I think, early morning Up until for a few hours. I remember, and then... I remember a few years ago, they finished Halloween on the 31st, and they had the soiree until 1, 2, whatever it was. And then the next morning, Main Street was clear. Oh, uh, yeah. That happened a few years ago. It was really strange. <laughs> Probably when they used to cancel the Extra Magic Hours at Disneyland Park and move yeah. into studios, they Maybe. could work up until 10am, which would actually give them quite a bit of time. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you get two hours extra. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's, that's going to happen, and then the season starts on Saturday, with soft yeah, openings no. on Friday. Let's call it a soft opening week yeah. for the season. I don't well, know. It's, well, I mean, it's technically not, but... It it's not going to happen until Friday for entertainment. Right? No, well, I mean, no, like the, the whole week the whole soft opening. Oh, because like you've got oh, a week I where it's not oh, oh, oh. fully there. So next week is really going to be kind of a soft opening week. Um, it's like a half Christmas week. Well, it's yeah. missing the Princess Show because that's why we call it now. And the uh, Rose Sparkling Winter Waltz. Yeah. <laughs> yep, Thank you, think. you know who, for tweeting that. <laughs> there are also uh, uh, there are also more uh, words in the thesaurus coming. Maybe oh, yeah. one day. I don't know. That's what they do, right? They just no, open the thesaurus right. and go like yeah. sparkling, yeah. Yeah. glitter. I Magic. wonder if they have like a randomizer. <laughs> they probably have like a Disney name randomizer. Next year, the magic it's sparkling fabulous, glitter. Fabulous sparkling magical twinkling. <laughs> yeah. Now featuring glitter and sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> well, we do know that our royal Disney friends are joining the tree lighting ceremony. Yes. Are we allowed to say that? No. Was yes. Not in no. Maybe. Press I don't know. Really? Was it? Oh, I'm gonna find the press release. Well, <laughs> we've said okay. it now. Well, well the you princess said it. Says, it are the princes coming? Yes. 
Yes, of course. Uh, well, well, I, was, I would not be going. <laughs> it's not. It's not always a given. Christmas. It's not always a given. Like it's not always um, a given. Uh, apart from so, Aladdin and Jasmine. Ah, uh, yes. Princess and Princess says apart from Aladdin and Jasmine, I'm going to be okay. in the. Yeah, you're getting me in trouble again. In the what? Sorry. In the tree lighting ceremony. So tree lighting oh. is going to be really interesting. My tree lighting is not about mess usually anyway, right? Because yeah, you always yeah, see it, it from like the two rows. It has the theme of the year. So what's the theme of the year? Are you ready now? <laughs> Can you imagine? Position. You know what would be really amazing is that if they have a Christmas version of "Are You Brave Enough" with like oh, jingle bells. Are you brave? Are you brave? Are you Are you jingling? Yeah. Are you jingling? <laughs> Mickey, Minnie, and Santa are the only ones. Oh, oh well. <laughs> There's your G people. Is that getting beeped out? <laughs> yes, sir. I would beep it out if I knew how to, but sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, and obviously the castle's part of it this yes, year. Yes, it's the whole right. main street. So it's an no, integral part. No Christmas lights, obviously, this year. No Christmas lights mm. on the castle. Even though they put them in the illustrations. Even though fun. they are sitting <laughs> for everyone to see during Run Disney when you run past right, them. But they are going to be oh, projected. Oh, yeah. So, But I think, it, I think it could be cool. It's a bit weird that you're facing one way. But the tree light in I the castle yeah, behind yeah, you, so it works. So, because the problem with tree light, you can't really see it. But I think it's going to be synced with also the garlands have LEDs so, in them. So, okay. like the magic is going to go like twinkle, twinkle, twinkle towards the okay. castle, yeah. and then the castle is going to go. Pfft. So there are times that in Paris we have really weird things. When it closes at seven, you usually have the parade, and then all of a sudden guest flow start panicking because they have to start clearing for the Christmas uh, light switch, which on. is about twenty minutes after. Right, and then as soon as that happens, people they're just like, "Okay, now run to the castle because illuminations yeah. is about to start." Yeah, it's a rough <laughs> hour period. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just pretty, it's it's pretty fun though. And I mean, I love the tree lighting, but the fact that they have this float and a stage in front of it makes it that you can really be on one side and there's just a lot of people at the bottom of Main Street here I feel I, like yeah, if they had some sort of like circular stage around so the tree it's not high enough either and they could have people all around Town Square looking from all angles so my favourite tree. my favourite tree lighting ceremony was I think 2013-14 where they just like went okay this float doesn't work fine let's just do it about characters and they just you could stand anywhere you wanted around the in Town Square anywhere at all and they just played um they played the music. The tree did all sorts of amazing things for about ten minutes. See, even and it was with Jiminy Cricket and Pinocchio, and it was so magical. Where were Jiminy Cricket and Pinocchio though? Just over the PA system. No. Oh, <laughs> so but they don't need a stage. Why can't they just close off the street in Town Square and have characters have it as a stage, like the parade, but for the tree light thing? See, I don't care about the characters because oh, I saw God. that version and it really worked. Like, it was really magical because of the lights. The lights were the things that made me impressed. <laughs> Who had known that the tree lighting ceremony <laughs> would impress you with the lights? <laughs> yeah, but like it was a, it was about ten minutes of just them playing different Christmas songs and the lights doing all sorts of amazing time. things. No, no, this is like I know, I know. And then they had this amazing version of "When You Wish Upon a Star" that was so festive and magical. At the end, why would and it Sean, was just why would Sean well? It's still semi there in Christmas is here. It wasn't really my favourite, I'll be honest. I don't know whose favourite was it, but it's just been going since like 1992. So yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was just kind of repetitive. I know a lot of people like it. I'm probably going to get hate me for this, but you know, this weekend has been a lot, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, We're but I like, I like Christmas is here. But I feel like this is the last year for that song. Oh, no, it's confirmed. Oh. I spoke to the parade design. Okay, we're just dropping it. Elliot, stop <laughs> dropping tea. <laughs> Wait, no, they told me. I, I asked, they said yes. I love that song. Yeah. So you heard it here first, uh, the parade designers. I think we already mentioned it on the parade. Yeah, we had. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I quite like the Christmas parade's just the parades. Oh, honey, give it, give I it know. a year. <laughs> I know, but I know, and I know everyone loves these hub shows, but I think something is nice just to have a parade. <laughs> so... We were saying, Street, yeah, you know? we were saying yeah. on the last episode that after the Jungle Book Jive, which is what twenty minutes or so, yeah. Mickey's Halloween celebration <laughs> is just like, oh, is that it? <laughs> it's a quite short thing. Cause I haven't, I haven't never actually it's, seen it. Uh, it's, it's about four you've minutes. Never seen so it. I've not been to Halloween for a couple of years. Yeah, so. It's about mm. three and a half, four it's, minutes. It's, it's a very good three and a half, four minutes. Yeah, so. it's great, but still, after so I saw the Jungle Book Jive and Mickey's Halloween celebration in quite quick succession. Yeah, and it was like, oh, okay, that was that then. <laughs> great. 
So no, yeah, Kevin mm. and Joe do the incredible parade designers for Stars on Parade. Oh, and we're just we're just going back and dropping it all over again. <laughs> the designers of Fantasmic, the designers of Festival of Fantasy, the designers of Sensational, the designers of Jubilation, so Happiness is Here, and Dreaming Up have designed the brand new Christmas parade for Disneyland Paris. It was meant to happen this year, but it's been pushed back to next year. Interesting. Yeah. So enjoy the Christmas parade. Yeah. Well, you can. <laughs> well, well, you can. Well, you know. Which is like how it is every year anyway. Just enjoy it while you can. Exactly. Two months. Coming. Yeah. Well, that <laughs> means we're going to have two different Christmas parades in one year. Because it will run to 20. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but we also sometimes have times where we have two different daytime parades in one week. So it's fine. What do you mean? Oh, well, well, when they had Stars on Parade. Yeah. 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 Mm. Um, what else fine. is going on for Christmas? Not Good His Incredible Christmas. Oh, Mickey's really Christmas. Christmas because the, ver- the version they had last year of Incredible Christmas was really good. Oh, no. No, no with Daisy. No. And well, the first year was better, right? Yeah. And it was, oh, year well, yeah. Actual last life, year was good bar the projected dancers. No, it was much better year one. So I've, always, year I've one. always had an issue with the show. It's an old 1939, like, haunted hotel <laughs> why is there a christmas show on it i, I get it you know you have what we got uh, yeah and and also like you, there was never show. anything to do from 4 p.m in that park so that you would go to disneyland park Watch and then you would like you come, come to Walt Disney Studios at like six freeze your ass off for like half an hour in your spot watch the show and then leave the park again it was mm. just kind of I, I don't know it didn't really feel like you were in a yeah. big christmas magical atmosphere the projections were really good. The yeah. technology, yeah, the idea, absolutely. and even the story was really mm-hmm. nice. But like, I feel like you just go, you were just going back to all this years just for that, mm-hmm. and then yeah. that was it. This feels like the perfect year to bring back Disney Dreams of Christmas. Just it does, saying. yeah, because it is basically mm-hmm. a Frozen show. Yeah, they can even rename it, and probably no one would notice Disney Illumination. Yeah. Disney Illumination of Christmas probably is like mm-hmm. oh, okay. Disney <laughs> Illuminates Christmas. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because no one's gonna miss. Because um, I would rather take that than Illumination, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Like, but don't they have, didn't they have like a Christmas pre-show last year? No. Yeah, uh, yeah, they, yeah, they, have, yeah. they have one every year. Yeah. Not, not no, 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 last, last year. year they didn't. No. Oh, because last year they had Mickey 90, 90 pre-show, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, which was, which was really good, yeah. 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 But so see, previous years are before good. that, they, they are good at making predictions. It's just the nighttime spectaculars are not allowed to touch them, that's not fair. Can't even play with your own toys in Paris. Touring Shanghai show. Yeah. Uh, but hey, you know the the thirtieth is coming, so that's how, yeah. uh, how many years? Something good. Well, just two. two. Yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty two. It feels like they just finished twenty fifth anniversary. It's because they've been on forever. Yeah, <laughs> you know all those anniversary. Like I always, I always say, I always feel like I'm not gonna buy the merch because it's always kind of tacky looking. But then mm-hmm. the anniversary ends, and now now when I see twenty fifth anniversary merch, I'm like, oh, I should have got some. <laughs> when more. they first launch it, <laughs> yeah. when they first launch it, and if you're there like right at the start or an anniversary day, you're just like, oh, it's special. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. There's no pad. I don't need it. But yeah. fine. Come on, I join the party. I bought a beautiful t-shirt of Stars on Parade of Chip and Dale. Oh, you wear it all the time. Though. I do wear it all the time. You know what I liked? That was the Mickey 19 merchandise. They had some cool yeah. stuff. That Not everything. Cool. But because it was worldwide. It was like a yeah. campaign. Also. They yeah. still wear that too. No, I like it. Balls and the mugs. Yeah, and the balls good, were really good. Like yeah. cereal balls. Yeah, yeah. Was that's what I have. in the world. Yeah, I have that. That's pretty good. In there, yeah. Everything was nice and colourful. It was, it was, was a really such good. a good year for Christmas. So. Yeah. Last year's Christmas was, like, amazing. There's well, so much it's, it's, here's my theory. Christmas sells. Christmas is going to be sold out. Mm. So why, why spend more money on it? You know? Because if it's you, magic. But I feel like maybe we save some money on Christmas Let's and maybe a little tiny bit on Halloween. To be able to, to have a frozen season. No, a drive, well, no, because Jungle Book Drive was paid with, like, budget from this year. Like I don't think oh, I think now we we've, we've gone into the new year and so yeah. they're like well if we cut the Walt Disney Studios part of Christmas we can probably Last afford a new long. float for for the Frozen season yeah and I think it's wrong to have to cut one park out of the season even though I know it's Mickey's Christmas Big Bang it's not cut it's cut Christmas on Place de Remy with the rendezvous hiver comment yeah okay. It, people it's, like it actually. I, I mean, I'll, I'll, I think it adds the food festival in general adds a bit yeah. more atmosphere to that park yeah. anyway, and it actually gives you some decent food to eat, which is yeah. easy to come by in the studio really sometimes. Good. But yeah. I mean, it's six yeah. euros for like a little. Oh, but it's nice. Oh, the yeah, I, I really like enjoy the it. ham sandwich. It's amazing. Yeah, so I like the tutti flat from the same stand. It's amazing. There's some really good stuff. It's at that really food festival. Fun. 
<laughs> That's a rip off. I paid it six, is. six euros for three churros. Yeah. That's like two. And yeah, then I, I wanted mean, another one euro for Nutella, and I was like, no, just give me the icing. Chocolate. I feel like, like like a lot of French people especially feel like it's a big rip off because most little towns in France have those markets on the weekends, and you know, yeah. you can get like a whole platter of tartiflette for three euros or something. Yeah. Maybe not three euros, but you know what I mean. That tartiflette was good though. But then, like, by the time you've eaten enough to fill you up, you spent twenty five euros. Yeah, that's the thing. But then, mm. but then, you know, the menus now. If you go to Uncle you get the menu for it's like about seventeen euros. I think so which is when we go in two weeks, we just have to take our money and just spend it and enjoy it for what it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I spent um, maybe eleven or twelve euros, and I felt like I was full at the end of it. Yeah, I think yeah. I got the raclette sandwich, the kebab gyros thing, yeah. and churros, and that was like fifteen euros, and I was. Yeah, I was, I was pretty yeah. happy with that. Because I suppose yeah, when you yeah. when you're spending seventeen euros, so many four it doesn't feel yeah. like you're spending. Yeah, yeah, you're spending it all in one go, and yeah. you're, you're getting like this big plate of stuff. But okay, whilst the rendezvous gourmand stuff is usually a bit smaller, it's very good. You can try a bit more stuff. Last yeah. year, I really enjoyed the savoury crepe, the ham and cheese. They're coming yeah. back. Mushroom, yeah. yeah, they're back. They're back this year, and yeah. so are. Um, Oh, let me get the menus. Let's just run through the menus, maybe. Oh Since boy. we're on that, we're on the topic. We might as well yeah. go there. But we love the decoration. I mean, okay, I, I, I like dog. the. Dec- I've learned to love the decoration. It went from like a for like a Parisian central it's city nice. style. It looks yeah. like you know really like a city. De- you know those That's big the point. The bubbles. Yeah, those yeah. big bo- bubbles mm. that were like the so sort of like um what's it called? Think, um, they're like oversized. They're really nice. Yeah, yeah. I quite I like, like them. it. It's I want to see Christmas shooters. decorations in Toy Story Playland. So yeah, that'd be, be cool. cool. So yeah, in, they do that in, in Florida, World, yeah. Yeah, it's in Disney World. So in the first, what are you calling them? Chalets? Yeah. Yeah. We've got the tatty flip and the raclette sandwich, which we we've already that mentioned. Sandwich. They're six so euros good. each. Oof. Then in the second one, we have a bœuf bourguignon with potatoes, obviously. <laughs> um, vegan butternut soup, snails. Ta ta ta, and a yule log. Oh, and some Kia. That's nice. I like Kia. Champagne as well, of course. Everyone likes a bit of Father's Day. Then we have the galettes one with ham and cheese, one with sausage, one with goat's cheese, honey, walnuts, and rocket. Mm. And then just your standard crepes so you can get everywhere. One has Christmas jam. What's Christmas, Christmas jam? jam? I have no what idea. Is Christmas Space jam. Space <laughs> jam. I have no idea, but it says Christmas jam. I don't know. Space to front. My Christmas jam is Christmas is here. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Mm, yeah. We have a Christmas sour. dad joke. <laughs> Meat pie slices. We have a sauerkraut. Meat pie slices. <laughs> I mean, they've translated pate to meat pie. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, mean, I guess it kind of is. Yeah. No, we call it pate. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, quiche Lorraine, pretzel, and a gingerbread. I want the Christmas beer. Well, I'll try I just think Christmas, Christmas beer. beer. Yeah, yeah I'm going to try the Christmas beer. But like Plaster Rim is the only bit that shows it has proper Christmas decoration, right? Because yeah. the, the, yeah, they the, the well, they have those the like little tree things. Yeah, they not put these up. I like those. Yeah. Actually. The thing at the front of the park remind me of the town centre I grew up in. It. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> They're not like it's not classic um, Christmas. We also yeah, in the, yeah. Last year I liked the Mickey Mouse decorations. So they were cute. They were fun. Oh yeah, the little flags mm. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Mickey Ninety as a whole was really, <laughs> really cool. well executed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you won that one. We had the cupcake. Oh, and we did it. Oh, no, Disneyland did really well oh, for Mickey Ninety. Oh, it was like in March the year after. Sure, but they did a lot of really cool snacks, and they did a lot of the. They changed all the bunting to the red, uh, red, yellow, and black Techniques. thing. It was I really cool. It's the most important mm. thing. Sure, right, but. I don't think we won it. I don't think we did badly, but I don't no. think we won it. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Moving on. Uh, well, me- talk about Mickey Ninety. So, surprise, Mickey is coming back. But in surprise. like a, a Christmas, it's going to be a Christmas surprise instead of a birthday surprise. Is it still going to be a good, 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 good time? I, I heard so. it is. Who told me it was? Did you? I think no. it was Jimmy Ocean. Who told me? Who told me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, um, yeah. I mean, the, it has the different um, director on it. I think from last year. So, um, yeah. Let's see. Um, is it going to stop on Friday? No, we don't know. Oh, uh, that stage. No, 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 no. Because oh, does that uh, come from the second later. week? Yeah. Oh, it's, we, we, we it's Christmas phase yeah. two. 
But so, does Christmas face to launch on Friday or Saturday? Ah, uh, Saturday. Saturday. Okay. It's the but 16th. What am I going to do on Friday? Absolutely nothing. Well, I mean, the parade part are still on. <laughs> the parade so still some stuff to do. Yeah. You've got the parade, Christmas big band. I arrive at 2 p.m. Um, well, the park closes in like three hours anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Billy's! <laughs> <laughs> Um, I still haven't decided if I'm going yet. Oh, really? Sad. Oh. We bet. Yeah. I need to put the name on your room. On the, <laughs> your name. Yeah. Let's put the name Sorry, on Sorry, internal room. business yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, everyone listening back home. Um, um, right, so, um, yeah, Christmas, I mean... Yeah, it'll be fine. Christmas meet and greets, people were very upset. Well, not very upset. Well, some people are always very upset about the meet list. But, um, <laughs> They've cut Mickey and Minnie completely from studios now. Yeah, right? yeah. But well, that's rubbish. because Olaf is yeah. coming. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a bit sad, though. Is Goofy still sent to Goofy? I'm assuming. Yeah, the, yeah I'm, I'm assuming. assuming. It has well, to be, right? They has to, yeah. I think they will. Well, Santa Stitch is new. That yeah, I'm looking forward to. One. We had him on the show. Stitch again. I'm sad Mary Stitchmas died. Yeah. yeah. Mary Stitchmas died, but it gave us meetable Santa uh, Stitch. Yeah. Uh, it's the offspring of the show. <laughs> it's all it had to it had to die to give us those yeah. new things. <laughs> what other meets like Thumper and Miss Bunny are they back? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Marie, is it Marie? No, no Marie's no, not coming Marie. back. Uh, um, Scrooge, Scrooge is gone. Ah, uh, Blue yes, Scrooge is well, gone. Well, or maybe not. Yes. Okay. No. Okay. We don't know. See. Um, <laughs> silence. Yeah, <that> was, <laughs> well, come and visit to find out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and plenty of other surprises. <laughs> More surprises. Um, yeah, um, so and then Jack, 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 right? Yeah. Jack, Sandy yeah, Claus. Sandy Claus. Yeah, I'm assuming, right? I mean, the yeah. thing with Jack is that you you always assume because he's not allowed to be on the program. Yeah. So, um, right? Is that him? He's not allowed to be on the press release. On oh, the press release. No. Sorry, he's not allowed to be on the press release. But you'll be in that. Phantom He'll Mario, be in the. Right? program right yeah yeah he'll be in his little home. we'll lie back yeah. to continue yeah, uh, uh, probably, yeah probably, probably yeah, yeah. 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 well the teacher said that if it was uh, you know an excellent solution well that it was an available solution i think lime but he's fine if you're on the ball so if you're in the park at 9 45 or whatever time it goes live you can usually get a slot for the meet and greets for pins it's a lot more difficult but mm. for the meet and greets you're usually okay yeah. I can see why day guests get annoyed though, because if you just turn up for the day and it says park opens at 10 and you get there at 10, right. pick up a program and the meets are already full for the yeah. whole day. Yeah, yeah. I can I see, I can see how that can be. Yeah. And I yeah. only cursed, when I got my um, my Jack meet and greet, I only cursed once because it only broke once on me. Mm. So I took a slot and then it was like, nope, uh, I have to take another slot now, four hours, but hey, I, yeah. I got it. But it doesn't really matter if it's like super late. You just have to make it work in your day, as long as you have a slot. But it now almost, the yeah. zones are a lot more strict, so you basically have to be within Disneyland Park to get a slot. Mm. Or studios. Yeah. You used to be able to get it from like the hotels. But the piano. I think, I think, yeah, I think the hotels should be included. Sorry, but I mean, yeah, like, I you pay for the well, privilege yeah. of if you're on, being on site. If you're on property. Yeah, but then everyone like who comes in. Yeah, yeah, but they're still coming into the park. It's fine. Yeah, I guess. They're probably... They're going to be a paying guest, so... Yeah. I mean, it'll be nice when it's integrated into the app and all. And, you know, many reasons for that, but mostly cost and time and technology and, you know... Yeah. Because then you need to give all those guys on the ground, like, some kind of access to the yeah. system and mm. you need to build Train it on, on the app. iPads. And, yeah, they use crummy Android tablets. Oh, yeah. they're on Android now. Yeah, yeah. They're always just been on Android. No, well, they used to be on iPads. For the Blind Bear team? Yeah. I mean, it's a way to manage the queue. Otherwise, I think, like, Jack Skellington would have something like four hour queues every single day. And it's never right. too bad. It depends on the day, I think, as well. Yeah. I think if you go, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if you need to use it every day. Yeah. I think midweek in November, you probably don't need Lime that much. But yeah. I think Saturdays in December would probably be quite, yeah. quite a good idea. But yeah. They could maybe manage it that way yeah just say like, like not yeah, it's difficult day. to communicate that in a program so yeah. maybe they just think we'll just use it every day yeah and just yeah i think it's just easier for them to do that it's a tough one it's a tough one but it is weird to see some third party app using a disney park mm-hmm. it's kind of like it's too bad <clears throat> especially when you bad. log in it's like oh i can take it from monoprix and montparnasse great yeah you'll see like all the <laughs> other all the other places <laughs> that the goals. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, but um, so also uh, with the beginning of the Christmas season is going to be the opening of animation celebration. Well, phase two of Christmas week, but yeah. 
Right. See, in my head, Christmas starts <laughs> November 16th. <laughs> um, so we've got two phases. Phase one yeah. and phase two. It's, we saw a photo. Well, it's phase two plus one day. R- r- right. Take it. Yeah, because obviously on Saturday it's going to be the press event. Um, and so we've seen one photo of the inside. So we strapped all the seats out, right? There's no yeah. seats anymore. I don't think there's seating. Yeah. So it's kind of a standing room. Maybe, maybe there'll be a few seats for disability. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. There's definitely seats for uh, disabled guests, yeah. and um, but it's not a long show. I think the total thing is like 12, 10 to fifteen minutes. So okay. twelve shows a day. So is it the same length as Art of Animation was, right? Pretty much, but less. Went through oh, a bit less. Yeah. They can't have yeah. as many guests though. Yeah. Well, they have more. Not more, more if it's standing. More guests. Oh yeah. The theater because this, oh yeah, yeah. Because everyone's standing, so I guess. I never went in there. But this tw- should be defined show times, no? I think. Y- y- mm. Yeah, I mean, how it's many twelve shows? a day. Twelve every half an hour or something that could be like. From so that's 10 six hours. I mean, like six hours if you do every half 10 hour, right? So like yeah. fourth hour. Maybe yeah, I mean, maybe it works well out. for um, Stitch Live and what was the other one before? Um, Disney, Disney, Disney Junior. Junior. Yeah. They had the times on those scrolls. 12 doesn't feel like that many shows. It doesn't. I really it wonder how many... It's going to be a bit of a carnage, I think, at least for the first few months. Also, I wonder, are they going to... Um... Are they going to do like two back to back? Because, you know, yeah, people are going to move from one theater to another. So it makes sense for the cast to just do like one well, back to back. Well, I also have yeah. to come with you to, well, on our Kristoff in this case, actually. I have to oh, come with you rooms. to show two. Yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, because like an art of animation would be you would leave the room. Yeah, and, then and you would see people coming in. Yeah. Like that, but... yeah. Uh... So it should be only really able to do one show at a time because. Christoph and Anna have to come with you. Yeah, and there's only one of them, so they mm. need to be the same one and only Yeah, the queues are going to be crazy for this thing. It's yeah. hard to keep the magic around here. We're going to have to <laughs> go there for EMT on Sunday morning. Yeah. And yeah. The I mean, I think it's yeah. going to be... It's going to be, be crazy. Big. Yeah, it's going to be a queue. Big I queue. think, at least for the first few months, it's going to be pretty insane the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Like it's... Well, uh, and then when you exit... Well, so I, th- I think it's a separate... Meet, right? Yeah. yeah, it's separate, so you, you line Betty it. It's all off just mm. where the you know, the exit doors, area of right? yeah. this was, where the meet and greet was. It's yeah. just, it's just there. Yeah. Right? Okay. I think it's just been all like remodeled. Re- it's quite old fashioned. Right? I wonder yeah. if they've taken the store to have the meet and greet in it because it's a nice circular. Remember that store Ooh, inside the hat? It would make sense for this to be like you could have now. They could they could have put it in the corner where the drawn uh, guy was. Ah yes, okay. But you know where the animation guy was. So there'll be a lot of chances to meet Olaf. Ah, okay. Yeah, you could go. He's Olaf him. everywhere. He's you a magical can... snowman. So. <laughs> He's magical, yeah, and he'll just. Uh, Go from place to place and meet you wherever you're. Wherever you are. Personal yeah. flurry. Yeah. 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 Oh wow. So um, it was yeah. tough to get through. That was very <laughs> magical, Jeff. Thank you. Um, yeah. That's what he calls it. He calls it his own personal flurry. Yeah. Jeff. He does. Well, he gets it at the end of Frozen, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what he's called. Yeah. He says. Yeah. It's my own but then he flurry. doesn't have it in like the Frozen shorts. Yeah. Or because it's too. winter again. Yeah, uh, it is. Uh, Not in Frozen Fever. He does have it in Frozen Fever. But he doesn't seem to have it in Frozen 2. Even though it seems it. to be fall. Uh, Maybe Elsa has created a magical solution that we'll find out <laughs> early sure in Frozen 2. I'm sure they have. It's also She has. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sure she has. <laughs> so that's the first 10 minutes of the film. <laughs> No, it's not the first 10 minutes uh, of the film. No, We've seen the first 10, 10 minutes of the film. <laughs> is this the same thing that they're playing in Sea Theater then? This, what we saw no, at D23? They, they try and change it ever so slightly. So yeah. it'll probably be what we saw, but a little bit shorter. Oh, okay. okay. You saw. Were you there? I yeah. wasn't there. I was no. at the Simpsons panel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, also fun. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you got the souvenir. What was it? Like a... Uh... The little Bart Simpson on a I stick. I got Bart right? Simpson on a stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was alright with that. Yeah. <laughs> and then you could leave the panel and meet the universal suits of Bart. I was in what the are you breaking the magic for? Simpsons! <laughs> they only appeared in like day one. I know we're completely off topic now, but they only come up in like day one of D23 and never appeared again for the rest of the Are we allowed to break the magic for the Simpsons? That Apparently be, that's the rule. That would make the whole life <laughs> so much easier. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's got, it's, they're, they're part of Disney now, so we can't break the rules for one and not the other. But getting those line break slots for Olaf's going to be carnage, right? Yeah, yeah. They're going to be going in like ten. It's going to be like yeah. the Captain America ones in Marvel. It's going to be ten seconds. Yeah. Be, yeah. But you know, I feel like it's um. But what I don't understand. It's a, is it? 
Okay. I thought you got. Is know. that we had this regression of Lion Bertie where it's slowly disappearing for mm. everything and things yeah. are going back. Like when Marvel came back for season two, all the meats were Q based and all yeah. of that. But suddenly we've adopted it again. Yeah. yeah it's weird. It was great for a restaurant this star. That, oh, that was the best utilization. Like people, so yeah. people weren't showing up. That's why. That's what Natasha said. They, they didn't want to use for reference anymore because but people would book a slot and then they'll just go and wander and forget we, about it. When we asked them about all of course they her. would. And so there was never anyone at this reserve till because, <laughs> because they probably got a slot at about three pm and they went. Do you know what? What's the point of me staying in this park? I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's. That's when we asked the problem there. <laughs> when we asked them about ordering, that's not what we asked for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but also, I feel like Lamberti can be a little bit unfair to casual guests who can just be quick vibes. come for yeah. the day. And that's what you were saying, David. Is like, you know, if you just show up when the park opens at like 10 ish, like, there's no way you're going to meet that character that day. Yeah, because. Because we're like, you know. But we, 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 well, we even we're, we're just like, oh, morning, uh, yeah. go at 11. Yeah. But, but, uh, <laughs> that's true. but I would know, <laughs> but I would know if I don't have an annual pass or I'm not on site. It says 10 o'clock in the program, but it actually opens at 9 30. Yeah. So yeah. I'll be in the park at 9 30. But if you're a casual guest and it says 10 a.m., you think, okay, I have to get there for 10 a.m. Yeah. yeah. Then you get there and it's like, everything's yeah. full. Because it opens at like 9 45 yeah. on a dot, right? There must be a like lot that. of complaints about Lime Bridge, though, because of that. Yeah. I think the actual system of doing virtual queuing is quite good, but. I think some of the yeah the idea is good. I feel like they should be um I feel like um uh, was it like mini Christmas time mini yeah uh, last year there was a it? morning and an afternoon yeah there was yeah. two and so the afternoon would open at like you know midday or something and so if you missed the morning you had a hmm. second chance yeah, to get really more slots for the afternoon I feel like they should just have like hourly every hour they should release new mm. ones and so that every hour you have a chance to go on it no it's tricky Sorry. to do that. What do you say? <laughs> to have like, what are you doing? Oh, to have like Lamberty like just, open new slots every hour to like add oh, capacity. You just then, get a little yeah. bit more. You have to then judge how much time people are going to take with yeah. me and all that yeah. kind of stuff. I, I definitely think that there should be two opportunities throughout the day to yeah. get a slot. Before lunch yeah. and after lunch. And yeah. they used to have that, so I think they should definitely yeah, have that. Yeah, so you can take one yeah. whilst you're walking in and one while you're in your two hour long restaurant queue or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Two hour long race from Q. All right, well, should we take another break? It's been an hour and ten minutes total. No, uh, I'll take it. I was going to say. Total, yeah, yeah <laughs> total. Well, no. well, with the music in the middle, it's even more now. If you're looking at your phone, it's probably like one thirteen. <laughs> uh, well, let's take another break. I still don't, clearly, you know, I have not prepared, and I don't know what we're going to play. But, we, uh, yeah. Are you brave enough? Um, we could play some. Well, we could play, did we play, we just... didn't we play Brave? Are you brave enough last time? Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe. So. Um, we should play something frozen me and like magic. Into the unknown. Christmas. <gasps> Christmas is here. Yeah, play no, that. No, no, no. Christmas is here. The people are going to hear it for like into two the, months. Into the unknown. We but can do into the unknown. Yeah. Well, you've got 30 seconds of it or something. No, you got the Dancing with the Stars. Well, I think the first the first break is going to randomly be the Matter Dance. <laughs> Well, it has been, if you're listening <laughs> yeah. to this. has been the matter. <laughs> we hope you enjoy the matter dance. <laughs> um, yeah, we could do Into the Unknown, but I only have like one minute of it. It'll be a very short break, so we'll be back in one minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I can hear you, but I won't. Some look for trouble, while others don't. Everyone I've ever loved is here within these walls. I'm sorry, secret siren, but I'm blocking out your calls. I've had my adventure, I don't need something new. I am afraid of what I'm risking if I follow you into the unknown. Into the unknown. Yeah, exactly. That was, and a whole, that was a whole minute ago. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, we're back anyway, so thanks, Jeff, for that wonderful intro. Well, you could stop and start again. Oh, we actually no, recording. So I yes. didn't realize we were recording. Yeah, Sorry. I always, well, I always like to push the button. That makes it more fun. Um, last last time like we had Russian bloopers. Of when we start. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, now that we've listened to Elliot's request, um, 
Oh yeah. Say hey, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that happened a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> so frozen animation is not the only frozen thing. You mean frozen? Frozen animation. No, celebration. animation celebration. So can we talk about how? Invitation. Yeah, there's too many celebrations, man. There's also too many words in that title. No, but I don't get it. Because, like, when you have already a Frozen offering that's called Animation, Celebration, Frozen, whatever. Musical. Why would you call the whole season that's coming two months later Frozen Celebration? Because now, isn't everyone confused? I'm pretty sure average guests must be confused between Animation, Celebration. open the program and go, but I thought I was watching this. Yeah, so, you know, like, Frozen Celebration is going to be in one park. Animation, Celebration featuring Frozen is in the other park. That's gotta be confusing. No, I not mean, featuring Frozen. Animation Celebration, colon, a Frozen musical invitation. L'Aventure, the, the zany adventure of Frozen Why did they cabaret. say, why did they call it, like, <laughs> Animation Celebration and Musical Invitation? And not, are they, like, just going for rhyming couplets here? <laughs> no, like, they, it's, they, it's like <laughs> Animation Celebration, un invitation. Why don't they so just call it Animation mm-hmm. Celebration, Frozen? Or as every guest will call it. That Frozen thing. Yeah. <laughs> the Frozen Let's show. Let's go watch that Frozen yeah. thing. The Frozen show. Is it a show? Is meet it a, a meet and play? Meet and play, right? Yeah. But, but is it a stage? show? Is it happening? Is it a meet and play if they're standing on a stage and you're watching them? That's a yeah, show, it's right? Not yeah. really play. Yeah. No, but it's not really a well, stage. It's a set. But, like, but it's a stage. No, it's not it's not a stage. But like, stage. A, a, a stage. Bell Advent... I'm really bad with those like super long names. Uh, oh, Enchanted Tales with Bell. Yeah, I think that's the musical invitation with Bell. That you do, you do get picked to go and help with. Yeah, it's definitely a stage. Yeah, but that's, that's a big budget story. and play. We're on a small well, budget. Well, not really. They don't even have a stage. Like it's like yeah. one room with yeah. chairs yeah. in front of so a chimney. So we definitely have a stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's that is a. Sh- it's like a theme stage. Yeah. But there's, there's, there's it's, steps. It's stage. I don't know if there'll be like people will be like to ask up on the stage and stuff. But yeah. is it like yeah. is it like standing room? We're looking at the photo. From yeah, the yeah. Stage. yeah. So it looks like a standing room. Which now did you notice inside your spook's logo, like watermarks on those things? Yes. <laughs> I don't Exclusive know. Exclusive sneak peek, it says in the corner. Maybe it's so that, you know, people in the company realize that it's coming from the company. Yeah. yeah. And there is a full on explanation as to the watermark in the comments on uh, the inside ideas. Post. Is there really? What is the explanation? Oh, uh, now I have to find it. Okay, well. Love it, Richard. I keep this tight. Well, yeah. <laughs> who who provided the comment? Can we say no? No. No, we can't say no. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. Uh, it says it just proves that the photo is official and can be shared. Oh. Ah, okay, yeah. Oh. So it's so that yeah. someone doesn't get it and, and that, go, that, wait, well, what? what? Well, I think that's <laughs> to prevent like the US or other departments to call them and be like, this account, this fan account. What have you done? <laughs> this fan account posted a stolen photo. Because if you look at this photo, I know it's an audio podcast, but you can see like an you engineer. You might have seen the photo. You might, yeah, you might have seen, but you can see an engineer working on a computer in front of the mm. frozen stage. He also has an iPad. Yeah, so it has. Is that an iPad? This yeah, there's an iPad link ah. there. <laughs> yeah, so it really looks like you could have just um, yeah, taken it from like backstage, but it's not. So animation celebration. It might be. <laughs> and then, and then in January, so we're getting the frozen season. I'm also going to that one. Are you guys going? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. For sure. Oh, geez. No. Yeah. No, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like Frozen. I do, I, I do like Frozen. It's just um, yeah. I'm not that bored. I mean, I to be honest, it. like it takes a lot. It better be good because um, oh, for me to trek in January, it's like, a, it's like a hub show. Hey, we did a trip like, in January last year. Did we? What did we go for? Pirates and princesses. Oh yeah, oh, oh, I think we did. Loud. Yeah, that was a really weird weekend because it was cold. It we was also cold. came away and went. I'm not sure it works in the cold. Mm. It doesn't. Yeah. That was a way to bury that poor season. <laughs> I went for the I Valentine's mean, yeah. weekend and it was really warm. I was wearing oh, yeah. short sleeves and it yeah. was like, okay, I'm here for it. The AP night weekend was good, but that was literally spring by that point. So. Yeah. Yeah. And they weren't even running it during the day. It was just that once in the evening. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Why is everyone right. dinging? <laughs> do it's Elliot's watch again. The do not disturb Jeez. lasts for an hour at a time. So we've run, done three hours and the podcast is only an hour long. It's not an hour long. It's an hour and twenty minutes. Fourteen fifty four. Well, yeah, but you have to factor oh, yeah. in the music oh, and the yeah. and the mm-hmm. new intro music. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, frozen celebration. Yeah, yeah, it's a hub show. We don't know much. The snacks. Right. So that's gonna be a highlight. And we'll you know, going like through the snacks. <laughs> going through the archive, I got to see you know the archive. I got to see the uh, um, snacks from the very first frozen summer fun. And they, they, were, were quite good. they were pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not the ones that they used to sell at um, your Yeah, in like little chalets. Yeah, yeah. 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 They'll be different, I think, this time. I don't. Yeah, maybe some will make the return, but. 
Yeah, but I mean, it, the slushy be, definitely like, years ago. Some of our fun was like in 2015 or something. You get West. Yeah, you get your best kids. 2016. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. Be a little off. That's good. I bet. But like my question is <laughs> yeah. like are they gonna <laughs> who's gonna be <laughs> who's gonna be on the Central Plaza stages? Olaf. And you can't walk Christ up Christ the stairs. Christoph. <laughs> Christoph and Olaf. Yeah, and <laughs> Elsa, Anna and Elsa are gonna Olaf will have like boat. one of those little lifts you find. I bet the float will park by the castle so everyone on Central yeah. Plaza will be able to see it. Yeah. And they'll there'll be like a bit of like ice picker dancers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. that would be cool. Like trying to that. break the ice on the stage. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they'll probably, they'll probably <laughs> the end up actual... accidentally breaking the stage. But <laughs> the actual ice. Well, the description we've had is acrobats and dancers. Okay. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Actually. So we're like, pro- pro- maybe they'll have trampolines. Well, no, here's the thing: they you know, took away frozen, the trampolines. Frozen but... is kind of like Christmas; it will sell. So yeah. I think whatever they do, as long as it's decent quality. Well, it will carry them until May. It will sell, yeah. but will it only sell in the school holidays? Because, look, I mean, January, February, March, other than the school holidays and things, it is cold and people do not go away then. Yeah, yeah but you also have Star Wars next door. Mm. Yeah, but it's still cold. <laughs> Which brings in also a, a crowd. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. Right. And people cool. don't want oh, to take I mean, their kids out of school and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, remember that. Summer is easy. Like the French um, winter holidays are basically from early February to mid March. Sure, yeah, for those holidays. So, like I said, outside of school that's holidays. A lot, but then mid March, and then you have the spring holidays that start like early April. Yeah, so, so I think yeah. that season's going to be really great at its end. Yeah, mm. when it'll be warmer. Although it will be in theme for us to be completely frozen. Um, mm. And also, it's yeah, supposed to be yeah. based on Frozen 2, so you'll have the Frozen 1 songs and stories next door and then frozen 2 in the hub um yeah it's kind of like, weird that we're launching a frozen t- frozen show it's that's going right. to f- focus on frozen one yeah. at the same time that frozen but 2 the, is but going. the public yeah. have been familiar with the story and have seen the movie before the season oh, so yeah, i get but it come on there's going to be on repeat in kids bedrooms <laughs> from yeah. next week or something yeah because the album comes out like on the 7th or something mm-hmm. or 8th yeah. or I do get that though because I've been in the sing along in America when they when they put the song from is it Frozen Fever the animated yeah, yeah. the short and I've never seen that and I was like what the hell's going on <laughs> and they were singing yeah, that so, yeah but I think I, I do understand why they didn't put the Frozen two stuff in right away that short's gonna be cool yeah. love the Frozen put, Christmas and also I think if you want to launch mid November you cannot have the material and the rehearsal time yeah. and everything to yeah. have the second movie they just don't have, have everyone would know what it is and yeah one, I just hope that that Frozen land bringing it back to Walt Disney Studios oh, too. We yeah. haven't discussed it this episode. <laughs> Do we have to every discuss episode? it every time nothing has changed, Jeff? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> We're <okay>. still waiting. <laughs> still want that lake. Um, no, I hope that our Frozen Land kind of takes bits of Frozen 2 and puts oh, it in there. I'm it sure must. It, will. it must, because... It's, they haven't even started building it yet. I don't even know if it's fully designed yet. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be yeah. cool if we had, like, autumn decorations. Yeah, and Christmas yeah. decorations. Well, you're already thinking overlays, but let's yeah. just build the damn thing yeah, already. Just, yeah. <laughs> hey, Avatar yeah. now has an overlay, so nothing's impossible. Avatar? Oh, overlay? do they in Pandora for Christmas? Yeah. Oh, I, I thought it was just like in the middle <laughs> island fix section. Oh, okay. Oh, no, there's like a proper like full on Pandora world of Avatar Christmas overlay. Oh, wow. But before Frozen, Marvel is going to be all the rage next summer, um, because Hotel New York opens June fifteenth. And reservations yeah. are from November 5th. Yeah, which, which is, is in two days. And if I manage to post this podcast tomorrow, it will be <laughs> tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. I I'm interested to the prices of this hotel, I'm not going to lie. It's yeah. quite expensive. We're gonna I kind of want to treat myself for like a birthday or something and get like for a that sweet. Bad. Yeah, man. So and, or, or the Spider-Man suite also looks We're going to log on on the 5th and be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll go on a Wednesday yeah. in January. Well, there is a special <laughs> offer where you can book by, I think, early December and get a Marvel... Um, like artwork, yeah. Artwork. And but I think the offers they'll have offers during December when they, uh, this offer ends. They'll have a different offer. I think will will include probably like cheaper rooms. Yeah. Like I need to buy like six lithographs just. To I get think the set. second, yeah. the, sec- <laughs> the, the first few months obviously is going to be full price to like you know milk all the fans yeah. and people who are like really excited and have money. I think it's going to be between Newport and DLH for price then, like in the middle of them. Newport. Uh, well, it's always traditionally been the same price as Newport. Yeah, but yeah. it's going to be. I feel like it's going to be much more than Newport now. But it's, the, the prices are based on stars, aren't they? Uh, they still be a four star. No, hotel. I think they're just made up. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what, what if this one will be... Well, then, <laughs> DLH is going to close early 21, 2021, apparently. So, it's going to... So that, six months after New York so opens, new, then DLH is going to close. So, New so, York is going to become the premium. So, the whole what situation, do. once DLH closes, will be dire. Because they will want to mop up that lost revenue yeah. from the DLH. Yeah. 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 So, the hotel. so, Hotel New York will probably take DLH's... <laughs> So I guess New York will take the same ish price as Disneyland Hotel. So that when they close Disneyland Hotel, the gap in the finances is not yeah. as noticeable. Oh so dear! Are they closing it completely at the same time? Apparently. Well, apparently it's the, rough, the right? website's taking no reservations. There's no reservation after January second, like third, since 2021. Yeah. Oh boy. But you know, but but them. Hotel New York will be there and seem yeah. to Marvel, so at least there'll be that sort of synergy. You can stay at Hotel New York and visit Marvel yeah. and see you soon, really, Spa. To me, it's just weird because, like, in the other Disney resorts, you don't really see them shutting the hotels down completely to refurb well, them. It's yeah, just like well, a you know the problem. Thing. The problem with Paris is that all the hotels it's are been, well done, and yeah. it's been neglected for so long that the refurbs that should have been happening, like in in Disney World, like right now, they're redoing part of um, Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yeah, yeah. They're redoing like, all the rooms and stuff, and you yeah. never even noticed and, if you know. And in California, they've redone the Grand California, like the yeah. floor by floor, yeah. and it's fine because they do it so regularly. But like when you get at a hotel, they get in that state of disrepair oh, that you have to years. like redo all the common areas. The problem yeah. is. You enter through one side, so if you're going to redo the lobby and the reception, then you can't get in the rest of the hotel, yeah. basically. Mm-hmm. They could do some, like, temporary stairs or whatever, but oh, imagine it's, a it's mess. Be, I think it'd be when they do, if they ever do Santa Fe, Cheyenne again, they're really easy ones, because you just take one building at a time yeah. and just yeah. and get rid of them. Sequoia Lodge, you kind of have part one building at a time because you've got all the lodges yeah. mm-hmm. but you have two elevator banks in the main building so you can right. close half that yeah, and that's already yeah. like you only lose half capacity plus you still have the lodges yeah. mm-hmm. and you can do that in Newport if they decide to do it again too well, you can just cut it down but you know Newport down. they were disappointed the way things worked out it was too much noise too many guest complaints sure, like it. But it's because in Newport they completely redesigned the whole reception area so they set yeah. up reception in a, in a tent didn't yeah. they use the convention centre yeah. for a while yeah yeah, so Newport wasn't handled very well, but you can handle it quite well. You just take half the hotel and get in. Yeah. yeah. But New York, they could have. Mm, well, no. No, no because they're changing everything. Yeah, yeah. but I think DLH, they're going to be, like, maybe not gutting it, but it's going to be pretty. Uh, Drastic yeah, yeah. yeah. They probably should go. It's sad that I can't retreat to Cafe Fantasia every I trip. Know. I want to just get away from the crowds. Uh, no, yeah. no, that's going to be yeah. gutting, isn't it? That's like the, my favorite place to go, and it's really yeah. busy. It's, like it's busy, right? Cafe Fantasia. I feel, I feel like they're gonna have a bigger one. Cafe Fantasia is too small for the hotel size. I think the um, secret. I it's not a secret. I think word got out about that place because it used to always be pretty empty, but yeah. it's really hard to get a seat now. I want to know what they're gonna do. Are they gonna tarp it and <laughs> refurb the exterior? Well, they probably will have to. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to close the whole thing, you'd be as well. You'd but I feel like the exterior is not going to take that long to be done because it's kind of a basic, yeah, word, so like I think, Victorian style. It just needs repainting. Well, they'll definitely have to do that quickly because it hosts all the infrastructure for selling tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but you could like have the scaffolding still go under the Sure, scaffolding. yeah, but you need to make it so that guests know still that that's where they need to mm. go. To and do like, that. how are you going to access? Are they going to have to like close guest storage for a bit? Because if they're like, oh boy, no. That's not guest storage at studios, I guess. No. They have to do work on the bridges, and you can't walk under. I'm sure I've been like five years ago when they were doing the front of the hotel. They did like they some part of like the 20th anniversary. They've done like a light refresh, haven't yeah, they? Like yeah. they've painted it and stuff. Yeah, well, there was a problem with the roofs. They've done, they worked on the roof and they also redid the lighting with all the LED and stuff. But, uh, Studio's guest storage is too slow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one yeah. of the other parks is. I mean, the whole system of guest storage is too slow. Like, they have oh, to yeah, put, okay. like, they should, you should be able to just basically scan your AP and it prints off a ticket. They put on I mean, the not even. You come back with your AP to pick it up and you scan it and you see that yeah. it's you. Yeah. Use your AP as an ID to like pick up your it's bags. You know? It's take a long time. It's to get in the yellow tag. It's like writing your name on the yeah. yellow tag yeah, yeah. and where you're going to put yeah. it and tying it. And bless system. them. I mean, you know, they don't have an easy job like carrying all those bags all day. But the system itself is not very efficient either. It should just be a locker room. But you go to like you know clubs or parties or something, and you have like some coat check with just like two people like in there. Like a and or it takes it takes like. In three minutes to process like 20 people I don't understand it takes so long I put something in one of the theatres in London once I just walked in gave them a pound they took my bag and see you later yeah, yeah. and it's like a big crowd that comes in all at once yeah. yeah so yeah I don't know 
in storage. Well, they try to they you know they've evicted the magic bus from the free ones now, so that's that's gonna be at least. A little... Well, that was filter out kind of slowly, right? That when did that yeah, happen? Yeah, a year before, uh, year and four months yeah. really. Let's yeah. be honest. Yeah, like... yeah, yeah. Um, uh, talking about annual passes are not increasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is good because sure. I won't have to do it. Yeah. I mean, I think I think it's really a tough period to increase prices right yeah, now yeah. because Marvel the... Marvel will see them increase. Oh yeah, a bit. yeah. Frozen a bit more and Star Wars a bit more still. I think in November twenty twenty we'll see a big hike. You think twenty twenty? Yeah, um, because then really Marvel think, uh, Marvel's th- gonna open like in uh, probably like I thought like, April. Yeah, April, I think April, yeah, early, then March April early um, summer. Oh, you mean like a spring one? Yeah, be, because they have two yeah. pricing seasons. Ah, yeah, that's true. I'd be interested to see if they put the price of the Infinity up and then took something else away from Magic Plus. Right, yeah, took probably. EMT out. Right, Michelle. Because EMT should be quite a valuable perk. Yeah. I'm well, the thing is, Magic Plus is too much of a big deal. Uh, a good deal. Yeah, you yeah. only have two weeks of um, yeah. blackout. Yeah. Like that's that's unheard of. Yeah. Like there's really Halloween week and Christmas week. That's well, the only block have the have. same have the same with their signature and signature plus, but the price difference between them is quite significant. Like four hundred dollars or something. Oh really? It's pretty big. Mm. And what do we have? And the uh, the price Probably for signature is still sure. significant. Are we have signature plus though, yeah. right? We have well, I have signature. Oh, oh, I've got signature. Premier. Premier. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Fancy smash. Oh you guys <laughs> oh do you all three have Disney and APs? Yeah. Yeah. For oh. two more weeks, yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, no. I had a um, I had a Disney World uh, Florida resident AP for a year many moons ago when, when I was you like resident? when I was like sixteen because Ooh. I was going uh, doing an exchange in Florida and it, like an exchange program with a family and um, they were in Tampa and we were going to Disney World all the time and somehow they managed to convince the woman at ticketing that I lived there <laughs> and uh, got me uh, these were different times in the nineties and uh, <laughs> and yeah so I had like a Florida resident. Um, yeah, nice. it was good. We just drive up for the weekend, Disney World. Yeah, I didn't realize how good I had it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, good life. yeah. Well, it's not too bad from London. It's what two hours on a train. We're yeah. close to we're we're close. yeah for Paris. Yeah, yeah. We're closer to DLP than the majority of France. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Actually, yeah. it's half as long for me to go to DLP as for me to go home to Scotland. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> the train, the train at least. Probably so, yeah, further away. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah probably, I don't know that much further away. But yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, we just can't. Book it off the cuff. We just have to sort of plan it. Yeah. yeah. Imagine yeah. if we go every. We'll be there every weekend. It was easy. Uh, I'm I'm totally ready for that London resort if it ever exists. I'm probably oh, going to be there a lot. Yeah. Controversial. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll probably get an AP for it if it's as good. If the theming is good, then yeah. I'll get an AP and I'll because go every so often. Good, man, I'm sure they have like lunch prices. APs yeah, or yeah. whatever that are going to be super cheap for like hundred pounds. Probably you can get an AP for the year or yeah. something. Yeah, and then I'll just. Mm-hmm. I'll go every so often and have fun. Yeah. Like, it's not going to take the place of Disneyland Paris. We're going to start London Resort Report. Hey. hey. <laughs> Big Ben in the R. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Well, that's the show, I think, for today. We didn't talk about Star Wars scene. Uh, There's a new scene in Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. yeah well, enjoy that. Bye. Enjoy that. Yeah. <laughs> From well, no, I, like, I, like that, I like that we have that at least at the same time as the other parks. Yeah, because December 20th. It didn't used to be a given, and now we're getting things like at the same time. It's like merch is getting yeah. better. Yeah. And, um, for now. Yeah, quick. for now. So keep going, merch. Don't change your ways. Just mm-hmm. don't do those Broadway shirts. Like, oh, forget but them. You know, you know that they're going to make one for Star Wars season this year. You know oh, it. Frozen season. Maybe Frozen season. No, they can't. No, I feel like Frozen will be more like just a Disney stuff. Yeah, it's a Frozen stuff, right? Also. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. They might have one Frozen celebration T-shirt. I want a Frozen spirit jersey. Well, that's what I said. Do they make those? Oh, no, Aaron Del Aqua. Yeah, you're yeah. fine. Uh, cool. I want like, a white one with like a Frozen logo on the back. Oh, a big Frozen logo. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I they like, should do like, that. A snowflake on the chest. Yeah. Nice. Well, that was your merchandise yeah. review mm-hmm. or wishes proposition. Yeah. Armchair merchandising. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, you can do that. Don't they have like, didn't they have people pick like design of things? Yeah. Wasn't it last year for Christmas? They had like, you could pick like the design of the Christmas ornament. Yeah, I don't know. I that was a thing. thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It never really works out. It's not a good idea. Yeah. Like the making everyone choose a Mickey waffle for Christmas and then closing the restaurant. Yeah, Victoria's closed, but you can choose the Mickey waffle they, they sell there. We just it'll be like the Jafar ice cream. I know. Uh, <laughs> like pop up the, the last couple of days. Jafar ice cream two point oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Contents coming to our accounts. <laughs> we made this amazing waffle, but you can't buy it until the last oh, day of the season, so enjoy. Oh man. 
All right, well, that's our show for today. Thank you for listening and following us, as always. Um, if you haven't yet, uh, obviously, we have a new um, URL. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you call it? Uh, feed. No. feed. Feed. We have a new feed. So, is that what uh, the kids call it these days? <laughs> kids call it. <laughs> um, so we're on, we're on iTunes and on Spotify and on the web. And uh, so make sure to subscribe so you can get all the new episodes. And we'll have one soon, I guess, after uh, Christmas season launches. Woo-hoo. And we can talk about what is Animation Celebration as well. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Christmas. And Christmas. But I mean, we know Christmas. Christmas. We, we can Christmas review the celebration. We can review the snacks, yeah. That we haven't heard about yet. It's dangerously late and we haven't heard about it. No, yeah. they should come about three or four days before. That's It'll suspicious. come this week. <laughs> yeah, but Halloween was about we got That's like, suspicious. Halloween snacks we knew before. Yeah. They're probably trying to take pictures of them in the office and being like, "This, how do we make it look good? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and well, the Lion King and Jungle snacks we saw in, on, in April for like yeah. a June start. Yeah, fair. Uh, uh, yeah, but yeah. only like two. Or but uh, but Lion King and Jungle was like such a big deal. Yeah. yeah, Marvel the first year we got them about two or three months before as well. Okay, well they we'll still sell all those Marvel snacks. Yeah, and the Toy Story snacks. And the Toy Story snacks. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the Star Wars snacks. Yeah, yeah. Cookie Cookie. Wookie Cookie. Your he favorite. just doesn't have a yeah. mouth now. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Because they couldn't do it. Like they couldn't make it unmessy. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> 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 Oh, snacks. All right. Well, thank you for listening. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Have a magical day. We'll see you next time. Bye.